Put himself in the line of fire. Reaps the rewards. Now Dalhouse as a result with five metres in the clear. And Dunkley in really tight. Redpath was the longer target. Decided to go halfway in between with Dixon. He's run a long way. But he's kicked a brilliant goal! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gee, summed that up actually really, really well because what was happening was the Sydney players were running back towards the square. So there's no way known that any of the doggies could have dumped it in. You watch it here on the screen. There's a couple of Swans players. There it is. Callum Sinclair's back in the goal square. So he couldn't really do much. He summed it up really well. Normally I'm not a fan of a bloke having a shot from the boundary line, Brownie, but I reckon he had a really good look. You can see here he has a bit of a look and says, well, my only chance is, and even if that's a point, you actually get, it, get to set up your defensive structure. Herbley drifting back with a flight and he sets Dalhouse into space with a long kick up to half forward. Dalhouse gathers against the boundary, 55 from goal, steps back inside, hand pass to Dixon. He can have a shot if he wants. He runs himself into a tight spot, puts it on the outside of the boot. That is unbelievable. Tory Dixon ran himself out of space, put it on the outside of the boot and curled it through for a superb goal. 4-2, 26, the Bulldogs, Sydney, three straight, 21 gone on the tyre power, no your tyre scoreboard. Yeah, Coates Hire, goal of the day, contender, absolutely going to be hard to beat that one for Coates Hire, a uh, magnificent goal. They've looked dangerous, the Dogs, nearly every time they've gone forward, getting it in quickly by transferring it to the opposite side of the ground means they've got space to work in, whether that's on the lead or on that occasion when Tory Dixon gathers, he had space to work into. Read it well and got it moving quickly. Dalhouse has got some space. He just needs the ball to sit. He's about 70 from home. He'll look up. What's he got to go to? Not much. He has to step back inside. Handball off to Dixon. Dixon runs a little arc and then went on the right foot. Banana. Dixon, can he bring it back? Hey. That is the goal of the week. Great transference of play from the Dogs from defence to attack. And then it needed some magic to finish. And Dixon was your man. The Dogs 4-2, 26, Sydney. Three straight 18, eight point margin, Triple M Ream scoreboard. Well, before that goal, I thought it was very clever by Lukey Dalhouse because he ran to 55, looked up, and it was two on four in favour of the Sydney Swans. So he didn't want to just boot it inside. And he waited, and he stepped in board and gave the handball to Dixon, who then, same thing, had a look. There wasn't much to go to. So in that situation, Brownie, you've got every right to have a crack at it, and the banana from the boundary was a beauty. In an attacking frame of mind, he puts it out in front of Dalhouse, who collects, he's about 55 metres out. He treads water for a moment, gives it to Tory Dixon. He's a sharp shooter, he's hard up against the boundary line with the outside of the oh. boot. Tory Dixon, what about that? Incredible goal by Tory Dixon. That is a pancake parlour goal of the day contender. Mm, lovely. Oh, how good a goal was this? We nearly had a goal of the year, didn't we, last night, Beaver? Well, is that the best goal of the season? Today? I reckon that, that is as close to, there's no doubt. He, he meant everything he did, sold Ran the dummy, way. sold the dummy on the boundary line, puts it across his foot, had a look inside, matter of fact, and decided to do that. So that's close to it, Beaver.